Hey everybody, welcome to part one of our video series and demonstration of Singularity Container Services presented by Scilabs. This will be the first in a series of videos and serve as a brief introduction to Singularity Container Services and some of its features. Singularity Container Services is the deployed version of Singularity Enterprise, an HPC workflow container solution developed by Scilabs for on-premises HPC customers to remotely build, store, and share SIF containers. Scilab Singularity Enterprise consists of three primary functions to augment container workflows. Remote Builder, Library, and a Key Store. The Remote Build service allows users to easily and securely create application containers without special privileges or a local setup. The Library is a place for users to share SIF images as well as push or pull those images through Singularity CLI. And finally, the key store gives users the ability to create, manage, and use PGP keys to sign and verify containers. This free service includes features like 500 build minutes of x86 compute resources across a rolling 30-day window, 11 gigabytes of container storage, and key management for container authentication and verification. For example, if you sign a container, Singularity can automatically fetch that public key and the shared container can easily verify that it is unchanged and signed by you. Singularity Container Services is open to anyone for free and is compatible with Singularity CE, Scilab Singularity Pro, and Apptainer. A Singularity Enterprise HPC workflow may begin with deployment on an x86 laptop, then be deployed on ARM or Power platforms. This is made possible by the ability of the remote build service that can run natively on those architectures without the limitations of emulation technologies. For that matter, you can also use Singularity Container Services remote build service from a smartphone or tablet. The contained runtime does not need to be installed in order to build a container from a definition file in the Singularity Container Services web interface. And that brings us to the end of this video covering Singularity Container Services. We hope you enjoyed this short introduction to the product. In the next video, we will be going over some of the background on Singularity CE, go through the installation of Singularity CE in WSL2, followed by using Singularity Container Services. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more content on this and other topics. And feel free to leave us a comment letting us know what topics you'd like us to cover in the future. Thanks!